This is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by some of the cast and crew behind Uncle John, which is world premiering here at South by Southwest? Correct. All right, why don't you guys introduce yourselves, because I will probably do a much poorer job of doing it. Not a problem. I'm the director, Stephen Pyatt. I'm the producer, Eric Curry. And I'm John Ashton. Uh, I play Uncle John. <laughs> um, what was the genesis for this idea? I mean, the film is a really interesting, tense look at small town life and family life. What was sort of the idea that you guys used to sort of build this world out, I guess you'll say? Well, it was a small one. It was um, it kind of was based off of a scene that Eric had written that was, um, it was a guy that was laying in a, in a lake uh, face down, and that was all we really had. And um, we came up with the whole story behind that, that one scene. And um, we, you know, we got to talking, and it was, you know, we got into what haven't we seen? You know, what, what do we want to see in film? Uh, if we have creative control of everything, you know, what could we do? What could, what could be different? Um, and uh, that's kind of the, how we started. And then we, we kind of worked from there at, from... Um, we started with two genres, and then we we're, we're going to be strict to those genres, and there was almost going to be like a playoff of of cliche, and then we just that wasn't our style. We we're like, this is going to be terrible. It's like <laughs> we don't want to we don't want to spend we, you know we don't want to spend time doing that. Um, but the idea gave us so much juice. We got so so energized by it. So whenever that happens, you know you're onto something. Yeah, Very cool. And in terms of bringing John on, yeah. what was it like for you guys in terms of picturing him in that role, which he does a fantastic job of doing? And for you, John, what was it about this project that you're like, okay, there's something here that I can really dig into with this character? Sure. I'm, let me answer first, and then we can get to yours. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> director, I gotta listen to him. <laughs> so, what? So how we, how I found him was uh, they put uh, Beverly Hills Cop on streaming Netflix. Which is a great film. Yeah, fantastic film. And and he, John's amazing in it. Yeah. And we were writing the script and and talking about cast. And I just watched it, and it's like, ah, this guy is just perfect, you know. And all I wanted to do is cast him and shave his mustache. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to get that thing off of his face. Cause then, <laughs> and uh, and so I I uh, talked to Eric about it, and we just decided, oh, let's just email. Him. Let's see what what he, if he'd be into it. Very cool. and, and and he was, and then as far as the character, you can speak to that. Uh, yeah, my <clears throat> my background was theater for twenty years. I I did theater over in Edinburgh at the Arts Festival and London Stage, and I toured Germany and I did a lot of Hollywood theater, you know, and little little uh, equity playhouses and stuff, and. I won a couple of Drama Critics Circle Awards for plays that I did. And so my my background was really theater. And then I got into films and TV and, you know, just because that that's what you do when you live in Hollywood. And I'd been looking for something to do that was a character-driven story. <clears throat> and these guys uh, sent me this script out of nowhere and they said, read it, and, are you interested, would you like to do this? And... Basically, that was the beginning of the whole thing, and it was it read like a play to me. It was like oh, I could definitely see it that was just a, just character driven, no shoot 'em up, blow 'em up stuff. And and I called my agent. And I said, "This is what I've been looking for for five years. Is this is kind of stuff I'm." <laughs> so I, you know, I fired him, and, <laughs> and I and I just said, "We'll just do this together." So uh, we just did the whole thing together, and. I mean, it re reads like a play. It's a, it's it's character driven. It's about emotions and and characters and circumstances and and uh, you know nobody you know it's uh, I I love the script and I three pages in I was hooked and uh, we got together thank thankfully. It's a very intense movie, actually. Um, there's a sequence of, I, don't, I, I didn't actually count the amount of time it was, but it felt like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes there towards the end. That was just like constantly, slowly building, building. You're just like, okay, so, some major shit's going sideways here. I don't know which direction it's going, but yeah, some yeah. way or other it's going. What is it like in terms of sort of 
creating that atmosphere from a production side, and for you, John, what is it like in terms of trying to build up that tension as an actor? Because a lot of it's very subtle, nuanced stuff that... Well, I, mean, I think, <clears throat> and I've said this before, but there's, a, there's another script going on inside of Uncle John, you know? I mean, there's, there's two scripts here. There's the one that's written, and there's one that's going on inside of him. And the these guys wanted to fly me into Madison, and you know they were very kind about that. And I said, you know what, I'm going to drive, and I live in Colorado, and it took me three days. And I said, I want to just take my three days and get into the character. And I got into town a couple of days before we started shooting, and I met some local people. And and by the time I got to the set, I felt like I was Uncle John, you know. So as an actor, I, I prepared for the role, you know. Cut all the walleye in town. Yeah, he did. Oh, and the walleye was great. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things that I actually appreciate, and coming from something called the MacGuffin, sure. this seems appropriate. The film really is built on a MacGuffin of what this back murder story is. I mean, ultimately, the logistics of it, we never really find out why right. it occurred. We never really find right. out. But it sort of sets the events in motion Correct. that occur in this movie. What was that like in sort of trying to plan all this out and trying to um, structure the story so that it's, it is um, mysterious without necessarily being a mystery and it's dramatic and all these other elements right. all combined into one? Right. Well, I think the, uh, the major thing was that uh, we wanted it to be a statement on gossip too, like small town gossip, and there's there's a lot of um, false leads and a lot of uh, untrue, you know, <laughs> statements that get passed around. So we cut, we that worked in our favor. You know, we could we could use that to kind of you know, if the truth is is here, we could just rub a little bit of dirt on it, and it's like oh, we're just, you know, we kind of lose it a little bit. So that was that really helped us, uh, uh, you know, kind of navigate navigate that world without having to be so, you know, expository. Um, and I don't know, Eric, do you want to? <laughs> I, I, I have to tell you a funny story. Right, we got, we got a story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle John is the nice guy. I mean, Uncle John is every man. I mean, he, he just gets pushed to a circumstance that, sure. that things happen. Yeah. But, I mean, it could happen to anybody. And Uncle John helps people fix their cabinets and he goes and he's just he's just the, the every man kind of nice guy. Yeah, yeah. So we're shooting this scene with this actress who who <laughs> I'm going over to fix her cabinet drawers and stuff and mm -hmm. and and she she was like really nervous and I and I and I went, what what's the problem? And she goes, Well and she offers me this pie and she's doing it in in the script she's doing it because Uncle John's a nice guy, and she's gonna give me pie, but she thinks that she's giving me the pie so I don't kill her. Like, like he's a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to Stephen, I said, she thinks I'm like giving get yeah. the pie because she she's afraid I'm gonna kill her, you know. <laughs> so Stephen went over and go, no, you love Uncle John. That's just why you're giving him the pie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, she, did, was she did, she did was a great job, too. Yeah. And she was great, she was great awesome. in the movie. It's that first take. Kind of and I want to say that also. The actors in this movie, because you're concerned as an actor who you're going to work with. And Danny, you know, I was concerned about Danny because we have a lot of scenes together. And he told me Ronnie Jean Blevins is going to do Danny. And I, you know, so I checked him out and everything. And. He is unbelievable. I mean, the rest of the cast, I'm taking all of this off of my shoulder because they are all great. Ronnie and Jenna and Alex, and everybody's great in this movie, I think. It's interesting, too, because, like, he, I mean, he is a good guy who's pushed too far, but there are also a lot of different shades of gray that are kind of relatable. Like, sure. um, was it Danny? Danny, yeah. Um, like him and his emotions about his brother's death. Yeah. Like right. you can, there's a lot of empathy that you can relate to this guy. Yeah. And like, he's not wrong. 
Yeah. Like he's he's yeah. not wrong. <laughs> that is exactly that's a great reaction because that's exactly what we talked about. Like in the end, he's not wrong. Like he he has like a, a racist reason. yeah reason for this yeah. revenge is like very clear, you know. And he wasn't wrong in his suspicions too. Exactly. Like he, he was very like the the scene where you pull up next to him in the truck and you're talking to yeah. each other and he's like, I heard that serial killers usually go back yeah, to yeah. the scene of the crime. <laughs> yeah. It's like this is this is beautiful. Like it's 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 very well done and like i mean obviously he's sort of built as a villain because you like exactly, john so right, much right but he's i mean you could easily probably switch a lot of the roles around and be like yeah. this is totally right exactly. uncle john is yeah. like the serial killer like you know right. whatever. and that's and that's all about reputation right yeah. so so because danny didn't have a great reputation no one believed him even though he was right he didn't get any backing so totally. you know and uncle john did it he committed a murder he was beloved. And he just just yeah beloved and got to walk Walk clean. Perfect. Um, film Uncle John playing at South by Southwest. What's next for it? Is there a website or anything that people can keep tabs about where they might be able to see it in the Absolutely. future? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Uh, website is UncleJohnFilm.com, and we'll be we're, we have you know thankfully some festival interest coming up. Hopefully, so we'll yeah. just keep updates. Is one of those festivals? I hope. Uh, we haven't. I don't know if we even have the answer back. We definitely submitted. So okay. Hopefully, uh, it is. I, I, I have a lot of authority up there, so I'll try and do make it. it happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, and in terms of you guys personally. Do you guys have Twitters or Facebooks or anything or other projects you want people we to do. know about? We do. It's all relatively boringly named. The Uncle John Film is the main website. Um, Facebook is Uncle John Movie. I think Facebook and Uncle John Movie. And then UJ uh, Film is UJ Film is our Twitter handle. So and for you guys personally, though, do you guys have? We, we I have uh, www.johnashton.com. That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's the one to go to right there. Yeah. Okay. Steve and I don't have Twitters, but we have Facebook. So. Yeah, you know, got some. That's some place to start. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I wish you the best of luck with the filming. Thank and you. Maybe we'll see you at Sif. Oh, well, yeah, knock on wood. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm a fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the sunset. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. Because I've got space game, and it feels alright.